IEEE AO2.11 is a standard for various local area network communications. It covers the implementations in the 900 MHz, 2.4 GHz, 3.6 GHz, 5 to 6 GHz, and 60 GHz frequency band. The latest AO2.11 variants, AO2.11AC, AO2.11AD, and AO2.11X, enable a high speed and capacity across the variety of the enterprise, consumer, and industry applications. While in early research, the development stage, the next generation Wi-Fi standard, AO2.11BE EHT, extremely high throughput Wi-Fi holds the great promises. A lot of the new and enhanced features are being proposed that will significantly increase the throughput and provide the support for real-time applications. First, support the 320 MHz transmission bandwidth, double the peak throughput versus 160 MHz bandwidth in AO2.11AX. Second, use of the 4096 quen modulation scheme for the increased spectrum efficiency. It's about 20% increased data rate compared to 1024 quen. Third, enhance the off DNA. They allow the, to assign multiple resource units to a single station. Last, enhance the enhance to the MIMO with the up to the 16 spectral streams, similar to the AO2.11X. The AO2.11B will also operate in 2.4, 5, and 6 GHz frequency band. These advanced features are challenging today's Wi Fi test setups. Now, let's see how to generate and analyze the AO2.11BE signal using the vector signal generator and a signal analyzer. First, launch the past web signal generation software for AO2.11 Wi-Fi and select AO2.11BE and go to the waveform setup and we change the bandwidth to 320 MHz and signal configuration. Okay, we can adjust modulation coding scheme MCS. Now it's 10. We change to nine first. It's a 256 quen modulations. And we calculate and download the waveform to signal generator VXG. Okay, it's download the waveform. Okay, finish. So we can check the waveform file L2 11 be sampling rate, scaling. All right. Let's move to the VSA to analyze the signals. At the VSA, we can change the center frequency to 6.5 gigahertz and the span to 500 megahertz bandwidth. And adjust the input range to minus 30 first. Or still over range, can we can change it to a minus 20 megahertz, 20 dBm. Right, and we check the measurement types to wireless connectivity, L2.11. And modulation setup, we can change the standard L2.11B and 320 megahertz. All right. And we can check the constellation diagram. 256 quen and adjust the layout to 2 by 3 and adjust the input range 
to get the best EVM result. Okay, now it's a minus 24 dBm. All right. We go back to the signal generation software. Now we change the module encoding scheme to 10. That's a 10, 24 queen. And download the waveform to the signal generator again. Now let's check out the VSA software. Yep, it's a 10, 24 queen modulations. That's a quick demo for AO2.11BE, signal generation and signal analysis.